<laughs> okay, so we've talked about this a couple times so far, even uh, in our time today. You know, you got a lot of people, specifically even guys who will say, uh, I don't have a father wound. I've had a great dad. He was never abusive, still married to my mom, loves Jesus, taught me what it looks like to be a follower of Christ. Um, so with if somebody says that and that's where they're feeling, how do we know there's a father wound? How do we identify if we do have one in our life? Well, for me, let me talk about my father wound first of all. Uh, it was subtle, but I picked it up after a while. And a strong male authority figure, I'd react one or two ways. Either I'd be a rebel, very critical of them, I confront and attack them all the time. Or I'd go the opposite, opposite direction and become a sycophant. I'd want anything I could do to get their attention and their information. Mm. And I got caught in a crazy cycle. And it's really crazy because if you reach out and you try to connect with a man and you're able to do that, you get real close, you'll see their what? You'll see their failures and their mm-hmm. warts. And then you'll criticize them and you get caught in a crazy cycle. But I think the best way to, to figure if you've got a father wound is if there's any sense of anger in your life. If you wonder if you're married, it's real simple. Ask your wife if you're ever angry. She'll tell you. <laughs> She'll tell you big time. Um, so how do you respond to a wife when she's when you perceive it as criticism? Mm. How do you respond? That'll tell you right That's away if you've got a father wound. Yeah. Big time. Mm. Yeah, I think of a story several years ago, about four years ago, I went hunting with my dad and a couple mm-hmm. of his cousins at around his same age. And um, I was hiking the hills of Wyoming with them and just you know loving the beauty of it and yeah. the mountain air. Uh, but I realized there was parts of me that felt like I was a 10, 11 year old kid, yeah. that I was with these older men that had hunted mm-hmm. way more than I had, knew yeah. way more than I did. Mm-hmm. And, and, I, and it wasn't just knowledge stuff, it was my general emotion and feeling. And I kind of had this moment with the Lord as I was hiking by myself where I'm like, I'm a 36 year old oh, man. man. <laughs> I've led churches and organizations. I, I've written books and yet I feel like I'm a little kid out here. What's going on? And I think the spirit just really revealed to me how much in my own mind I had created some of those categories where the father wound had changed how I saw myself. Mm-hmm. And actually, you know, my dad and I had some great conversations on that trip and it, it was really, a, I think, an emotionally maturing moment for me yes. to walk through those things. But that would be my encouragement for someone who's saying, well, how do I know if I have a father wound? I'd really encourage you to think about how do you act and feel about yourself when you're around your father. Yes. Are there things you feel around him that you realize I don't feel that usually? Um, when you go home to where your parents live, do you um, find yourself struggling with things you don't normally struggle with? Mm-hmm. Right. Do you have, like I did, this mindset where all of a sudden you feel 12 again? Uh, those are some real surefire ways to realize, boy, there's there's something here. Because if I feel something with my dad, whether it's fear, anger, y- maybe even um, some positive things where you feel really bold and courageous, yes. you might be recognizing, well, my I've, I've leaned on my dad for that. Mm-hmm. And when I'm away from him, I, I don't feel the same boldness. Mm-hmm. Uh, so just recognizing where do I find a different emotion or feeling or I'm acting differently. You know, we have so many guys that talk about on holidays or when they're around their family of origin, it becomes a huge battle for their uh, sexual brokenness or some of those old patterns come back. Yeah. Well, again, that that's revealing that there's there's issues there, there's emotions there, there's memories there that really I think can be very fruitful in addressing them and looking into what, what am I hearing? Mm-hmm. What are the messages I'm listening to? that can really reveal the father wound. Yeah. I think it's important also to, to take that as an indication. It's really a time for you to ask your dad to affirm your manhood. In other words, what sets you up to feel like a kid again is a statement that your dad never really put openly to you, say, I really see you as a man, I see you gifted in this area, and I see you really released in this area. Because when you're with him, if you stated who you are in the future and who you are prophetically, that sense of living will not be there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I remember when I first realized I really had a major issue with the father when I was in working on a house, fixing the plumbing. Now, when I try to fix something in our house, we have to hire someone to come and fix it, fix it, I fix it, okay? Yes, I can relate. <laughs> and so my wife walked in, and she says, how you doing? And she was thinking, oh, I could be with my, my hubby. I love to do this. She worked with her father outdoors. She loved it. That's what she was thinking. I was thinking, she doesn't think I'm going to do it right. She says, get out of here. So I said to her, real angry. She said, I'm getting out of here. She left the house and Walked outside and guy said, I want you to go back in there and talk to him. She said, I'm not going back in there. He tore my head off. <laughs> she said, I went back in. She, I remember, I'll never forget. She walked in. She said, one statement. She said, you ever notice when you work on the house, you get really angry. She turned around and left. <laughs> Just and drop I, that bomb. <laughs> oh, man. I pulled that knife out of my chest. I went, ah. Oh! That's a great. I've never heard that strategy. That's good. And uh, so I went, she's right. Mm-hmm. And I walked in and said, honey, I never had a dad show me how to fix anything. Yeah. So I'm working on the house. I feel like an idiot. 
Yeah. So no matter what I do, I feel like an idiot. And you can ask any question, and I'll think it's a criticism. Mm-hmm. I need you to help me in this, and she's helped me in it. Because that's the truth that plays out in the brokenness, right? So, Big like time. in my life, you know, I, like so as you're talking, Nick, the idea of wanting approval um, or wanting that affirmation for me, that's what it was. I always yeah. want the approval of my dad, and I see that play out even in my life. That mm-hmm. when someone says something critically about me or misunderstands me, like yeah. I, that's the 12 year old feeling. It's like yeah. it's right back to why can't you just approve of me? And yes. so you see it play out in the way that really your worldview is shaped and how you go about your day to day. You can exactly. identify it once you start to connect. How do I feel around my dad and how do I experience life? And those two things usually connect. Yeah. How do you feel around your dad? And how do you do when you think your wife's criticizing you? How do you react? <laughs> yeah. I'll show you how secure you are and who you are yeah. Yeah. big time. 